Hi, I'm Jeff. This is Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. So, vine weevil. A couple of days ago, I came into the greenhouse and I actually came over into the warm side of the greenhouse. And as I do, I look for slugs usually. They're the, the usual culprits that cause me problems. And I noticed at the top of a Tredescantia, and I'll show you some footage of that, I noticed some of the leaves have been bitten away, like little jagged chunks of the leaves bitten away. And it didn't actually look to me like the usual slug damage. So I started coming in on a regular basis at night time and you've got to wait till it's dark and obviously that becomes more and more difficult as spring and summer move on because it gets dark later and later at night. And I like to go to bed early, what can I say, I get tired. So I noticed when I came in one night the little moving antennas, twitching antennas of an adult vine weevil on top of one of my Cherescantias. So. First thing to think about is, well, that's the cause of my chunks taken out of the leaves, which is no big problem with a Tredescantia. I'm not particularly bothered about that. But this to me is my worst nightmare because I'm in the warm side of the greenhouse. It's all completely enclosed. There is nothing that can get in as far as I know. I have been through this side of the, I've been through the whole greenhouse with a fine tooth comb and looked really carefully for all the holes and sealed all the holes up. So what does that mean? Well, for me, it's a disaster because it means that there is some or there are some vine weevil grubs inside some of my pots. Now, a couple of years ago, I had mostly orchids in bark. And that really isn't the kind of a, an environment that a, a vine weevil grub likes to be in. It likes to be completely surrounded. It doesn't like all that air and space. In fact, the adult vine weevil will not lay eggs in that kind of an environment. They will, they will lay their eggs in like a fine compost. So I have no idea where they've come from. I don't know how they've got in here unless the eggs were already in either there's some compost or they were already in uh, one of the plants that I've bought. But that vine weevil, I think it's highly unlikely that it was only one. So anyway, didn't do anything about it other than obviously squished it. Came in a couple of nights later. What did I see in a completely different place on a completely different plant in the warm part of the greenhouse? Another adult vine weevil. Ah, what does this mean? Well, I think it's really, really unlikely that out of this space here, there are only two vine weevils and I just happened to come across them. I mean, they're only tiny. They're only about a centimetre long. So it's really unlikely that there are only two. I think it's far more likely that there are several and they've either hatched out from some grubs, some grubs because I have lost a couple of plants this year. Now, maybe they were eating the roots in there. I don't know. I've emptied all these pots out and I couldn't actually find anything of the ones that had died. So where they've come from, I don't know, but I cannot just leave it because the problem with vine weevils are not just that the adults will go and munch away. In this environment, they're stuck here. Outside, it's fine. They can go and nibble on a plant. They can go and lay their eggs. The grubs, which only eat roots, can eat the roots and move on to another plant. So you don't really notice. But when they're in an enclosed environment like this, they're stuck here. What are they gonna do? They're gonna go inside my pots and they are going to munch away all those roots. And the first I will know about it is when that plant collapses. And then of course they'll hatch out into an adult vine weevil and the whole life cycle will start again. I don't really have much option. As far as I'm aware, there is no organic method here other than emptying every pot out and changing all the compost. It's just not practical. It's not going to work. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have this bug clear. So this is, says vine weevil killer. It's actually the same formula as other bug clear products on the market. They're not sponsoring me, by the way. It's just uh, a vine weevil killer. It's a systemic and it kills all sorts of bugs, but you need to water it on. Apologies for the fogger. So what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to put a little bit of this into one watering can. I'm going to put some of this into all my watering methods. So I have a chug of water for orchids. I have several watering cans and this is going to go in them all. So that I'm going to make sure that every single plant in the greenhouse gets some of this stuff. It's not the best method, 
it's not the most organically friendly, environmentally friendly method, but when you spend so much on plants, it's the only way that I'm going to know for sure that every single plant has been treated and that I don't get that infestation that will absolutely decimate my plant. Because once those little creamy C-shaped grubs are in your pots, all they're going to do is eat away at the root and you'll only know about it when that plant dies. Try to scan to your out so bad because it actually would be an interesting experiment to see which was the fastest, whether the grubs could eat those roots quicker than they could actually create them because trying to scan to you are pretty red hot when it comes to creating new roots. Interesting to see, but I don't want to see it in my greenhouse. I want to see somebody else do that experiment. So that's my job for today. I'm going to make sure that all my pots, anything that I water, uh, the water gets some of this inside it. And then over the next week or so, and the next fortnight, as I water plants, every single thing will get some of that. The problem is, if these two adults that I've caught have just laid some eggs, then maybe this won't kill the eggs off. I don't know. So I'm going to have to take my time over it and make sure everything gets at least a couple of waters with this stuff. And then hopefully it will solve my problem for me. Just one of those things with greenhouse growing, yet another problem with greenhouse growing, yet another thing that we've got to cope with. So that's what I do about it. Let me know in the comments what you do about vine weevil if you have that kind of problem. And for now, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.